Hallelujah, glory, glory, glory to God this morning on this December the 7th as we're waiting on our Lord and our Savior, the advent, the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We exalt your very name this morning. Jesus, I thank you for every opportunity for us to be on WBGX 1570. Minister Jennifer Sills and I give all praise, honor, and glory to God this morning for what he's doing in our lives. And we exalt the name of Jesus and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statues and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. The Lord said, that was Ezekiel 36 and 27. His spirit, know ye not that you are the tabernacle of the living God. 1 Corinthians 3 and 16, there's a tabernacle. It's a meeting place and I come to give my praise report this morning as we intercede and stand in the gap by the grace of God that's a healing God, a delivering God, a God that provides, a God that teaches, but he is the God first of all of your salvation. Hallelujah. When you confess the name of Jesus, believing down inside your heart, glory be to God. It may not come when you want it, but God is always on time. He's an on time God. You got to walk this thing by faith because faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. And so, Lord, I exalt your name this morning as we give you all praise, honor, and glory. But I wanted to share real quickly with the believing saints and for those of you that have fallen away of those of you that don't know my Lord and my Savior Jesus Christ I just want to share a brief testimony of the power of God in healing and deliverance I've been going through some struggles and some pain and some suffering for quite a while and I went to the doctor three months ago and they found a, a, a spot on my lungs hard ah, glory to God but my God ah 33 years ago I had lung surgery and they said I had sarcoidosis and when the Lord healed me he said you'll never be sick with this disease again I've never ever been on medication for sarcoid so when the doctors told me three months ago thereabouts that I had uh, spots in my lung and that it was on the right side and it, it represented showing them there could be the sarcoid that came back and I said the devil is a liar hallelujah Jesus said there's power in my name he's a healing God heal you at the pool of Bethesda we just taught on the pool of Bethesda so the Lord has healed my lungs once again glory be to God I've not ever been back on prednisone for sarcoidosis I praise your name Jesus I'll continue to lift up the blood stained banner I'll continue to praise his name because he is a God of my salvation when I woke up from that surgery 34 years ago this coming February and wound up going on uh, 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 prednisone for 9 months and had to be weaned off 60 milligrams a day of prednisone to heal me from sarcoid but I come to tell you it was the power of the blood of Jesus because I said yes to the Lord I felt like my life was going to end then and I said Lord if you just heal me give me one more chance I'll sing your praise your honor and your glory I exalt your name and teach me how to serve your God teach me how to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ and when the Lord healed me he healed me while I was singing in the choir and I never been sick again I started singing Hey, glory be to God in the choir. Never sang in a gospel choir ever in my life. And then the Lord blessed me to go about. And when I heard people singing, uh, folks getting shouting and crying as I was singing, I went to the instructor. I said, uh, uh, um, uh, Minister, uh, how, how is it that people are crying? What is all of that? What's going on? She said, boy, don't you know that's an anointing of God on your life? I come to tell you, people of God, that believing on waiting on God, know that that he is a healer and his reward may not come when you want him but he's always on time and I come to tell you we all going to leave this body one day I thank God that I can exalt his name right now and tell you to hold on hallelujah your name is written in the Lamb book of life everything don't go the way you want it when you want it to but he's still a saving God and Lord though you slay me and though I'm still struggling with some health challenges I don't confess it I don't receive it I speak healing and further deliverance in my life and for those of you that are suffering with chronic pain there's power in the name of Jesus glory be to God and he's a healing God and he'll continue to heal he'll continue to bring you through every trial every tribulation so continue to praise his name because I'll praise him in the sanctuary I'll praise him coming in and going out because his grace is sufficient to keep me and I'll praise him because he's my
my Lord and my Savior. Everything that have breath, according to Psalms 150 and 6, let everything that have breath praise ye the Lord. And so I exalt your name this morning. Praise is a yada, hallelujah. It means to thank you, Lord, and confess, believing in my heart. Yada, God, da -da 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 -da. and hallelujah, Lord, thank you. Ah, the word comes from praising God. It's a singing of the praises of the Lord. It's the root of the word of hallelujah, meaning to praise and to honor him. And you don't have to wait on your blessings. You want to praise him when you're going through. That's why sometimes you just got to give sacrificial praise. And sometimes you got to give sacrifice of prayer and come to the altar and lay that for all your burdens on the altar of altar laid. I come to tell you is at the altar of confession and repentance and accepting my Lord and my Savior Jesus. Jesus Christ, that I found his word to be true. Hallelujah. Never knew him before, but he healed me and delivered me on the spot that night. Never been sick again. And I tell you, ah, he's a never had another problem with sarcoidosis. No breathing problem. You may have some other health problems, but God is still my healer. I talked a few weeks ago out of the book of John 5, I think it was John and 5, I'm sorry, chapter 5, about the pool of Bethesda. It was where the man was crippled and he couldn't get to the water and so when he tried to get in the pool he always got knocked over but my Jesus saw him out of all the people Jesus sees you he sees every one of us knows the very hair on your head and knows all about your beginning and your end knew you before the foundation of the world knew you before you was even in the belly of your mama Lord have mercy or in the seed of your daddy God knows everything about us he's the author and the finisher and I I come to share with you this morning the healing grace and the praise and honor that I give to God because of who he is in my life and because we taught that lesson of the pool of Bethesda I found out that Bethesda glory be to God is a waiting place it was like the place where all the sick people would wait near the pool that was being stirred up by the presence of the fire of God the presence of the healing grace of God that was down in the water ah oh, glory be to God but Jesus Jesus didn't get in this water. He was raised up out of the water and baptized by John the Baptist. Glory be to God. And the Father said, this is my son. Glory be to God. The same healing water. Ah, glory be to God. It's a living water. Taste and see that the Lord is good. There's a well of springing water down in your belly that the Lord wants to do a new work in you this morning. I sing glory to his name. Living water. Taste of this water and your thirst no more. More. Eat of this food, this bread. Eat of this word. Eating of the flesh means eating of the bread of God. Meeting and understanding that you meet God in that meeting place of praise and honor. For he is divine and I am the branch. I can ask believing and where two or three are gathered in his name, I can come myself individually believing down inside of my heart to tell you this morning, oh yes he'll do it. Yes every time. Every financial need may not come when I want it but he's always been on time so I give you God all the praise honor and glory and for four and a half almost five years I have been sequestered in this house cannot drive can't travel every time I just go to the doctor the dizzy spells and the pain that I've experienced but every time I get an assignment to go and share this gospel or get up and have to pray in the morning or pray in the afternoon or teach a class Lord gives me strength I come to know to let you know that I've discovered that God can use you in the infirmity of your pain, in the sickness and disease that you're going through. Give him all the praise, though you slay me, Father God. I still trust, I still trust, I still believe by the power of the glory of God, for I know that you've given me the keys of the kingdom of God, all about kingdom work. So at the pool of Bethesda, Bethesda was a miracle working place. Bethesda was the pool of Bethesda, but it was a pool. Bethesda was the waiting place. Hallelujah you on your way to the pool of Bethesda on the way to the place of the blessings I don't know how God is going to move in your life I don't know when God is going to move but I can tell you with a surety if my name is just written in the Lamb book of life Lord thank you don't ever erase my name please God have mercy on your people this morning Lord they've been overburdened by the problems of the world Lord by the bigotry and the hate that's going on across the land Lord raise up the remnant of of young men and women strong and mighty to plead the blood of Jesus and the blood
bloodstained banner to give guidance and leadership as they come to rally. Lord, ah, you come and intercede right now by the presence of your warring angels. God, send them right now to confound the mind of the wicked, to bring relief to those that are in need of restoration and rehealing. Lord, do it right now. Need deliverance from alcoholism and drugs and abuse, whatever's going on in their life, God. Do it right now. I thank you for it because you're the God of my salvation. Minister Jennifer says, I love you with the love of Jesus, and I thank you, woman of God, for your prayers. I hear you at night praying in your sleep. I hear you at night when you think I'm sleeping, and I'm moaning, praying out to God myself. Lord, be to God, or you wake me up praising God yourself. Ah, what it is to have a woman of God, or oh, friends and neighbors that can call and say, Brother Seals, I'm lifting you up in the name of Jesus. So I'm excited about what the Lord is doing in my life. So I give him all the praise and all the glory for he is a God of my salvation. He's a God that says, if you lift up my name, if you call me, if you search for me, seek him diligently and ye shall find him. And you'll discover he is a rewarder of those who search for him and diligently seek him. This morning, I come to tell you, hallelujah, the praise of Haram. Hallelujah, praise his name. Glory be to God with the last three or four minutes left on this broadcast. I just want to say, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I magnify your name. God Almighty, it's through the riches of your glory that I keep pressing to the mark of the prize of the high calling, which is Christ Jesus down on the inside of you, inside of me, that we can plead the blood of Jesus, that we don't have to wait. I don't want to wait to come and have to ask the pastor to pray for me. I can come and pray myself. Hallelujah. I can come and be praised up and give a shout. Of glory to his name. Get excited before I come to hear the word of God. Can you imagine what your church family would be like if the people of God in your own home began to praise God the more and worship God in their tabernacle. Not waiting for somebody else to praise him. But come to church already excited about praise and worship and hearing the word of God. Hallelujah. You are the plowman. You're carrying the word of God. And that word, when you plant that word, one plants in the other waters. But Jesus, God, gives the increase. I come to tell you, expect your miracle working power. I've lived long enough to see so many wonderful works of God. To tell you the excellence of his glory rest us in the heart of you that believe and the grace that's sufficient to save you and keep you and give you faith to hold on. I come to tell you this morning, I love him with all of my heart and I exalt his very name because God is worthy of all the praise and honor. I call upon the Lord not because he healed me. I call upon the Lord because I know he's the almighty God, almighty God. He's Yahweh. And so this is your host, Minister Anton and Minister Jennifer Seals of, of, of AJS Ministry on, on WBGX Hallelujah 1570 on your radio dial. You can write us at AJS Ministry 310 AJS Ministry 310 at gmail.com If you'd like to sow a seed in this ministry, you can send it via PayPal. You can write us and call us if you'd like for us to be a guest speaker or come and share the gospel and the teaching out of the book, The Tabernacle that dwells down on the inside of you. I am excited about what Jesus is doing in our life, Minister Seals, and to those of you listening. We need you to just call and give a praise report. Call and sow a seed into this ministry. Write us at AJS Ministry 310 at, uh, 310 at, at gmail.com. God God bless you, and may the peace of God be with you always. This is your host, Minister Anton Seals. Hallelujah. You can just type in Anton Seals Sr., and you will find the different things that we're doing in the ministry and the teaching of the gospel. This broadcast that we're on right now on WBGX will be posted, hallelujah, from a video recording that we're doing right now, hallelujah, that we will share on YouTube this morning. God bless you, and know that the Lord loves you and created you in his image and gave you all power, due to his power, to do greater work.